Installation for Mr. Cool Split Air Conditioner. Appropriate position for installation. An appropriate position should be chosen before the installation of split air conditioner. Here are some inappropriate positions of installation. Don't install near a heat source or steam source. Don't install where there are obstacles which block the air circulation. Don't install where there are fumes or a droplet. Don't install too close to combustible objects such as curtains, clothing, and other movable items. Don't install within 40 inches of televisions, stereos, or other household appliances. Don't install where the ventilation is poor and there are obstacles around which may affect the airflow. Don't install where flammable, explosive, or corrosive gas may leak. It is recommended that customized anti-corrosion air conditioners be used where corrosion is strong, like seaside areas. It is recommended to build shelters above the outdoor unit in areas with heavy snow or heavy rain. It is recommended to build a barrier in front of the outdoor unit towards the wind direction in strong windy areas. Choose a position with the best ventilation, but also sheltered from the rain and direct sun exposure if possible. When the outdoor unit is installed along the street, an additional wind backflow device should be taken into consideration to prevent wind from blowing directly onto pedestrians. Preparation of installation tools. During the installation, the following tools may be used. Pressure gauge, vacuum pump, electric drill, leak detector, clamp meter, multimeter, installation of indoor unit. Confirm whether the indoor unit matches to the outdoor unit according to the model of purchased product. Unpack the packing box. Take out the indoor unit and examine whether there is any scratches, deformations, or other defects on the panel. Take out the accessories. Check whether the accessories are complete. Space requirement for the installation of the indoor unit. Confirm the installation position of the indoor unit according to the installation manual. Confirm the position of the wall hole and the screw above the wall hole according to the direction of the exit pipe. The right and left sides of the indoor unit should be more than five inches away from the wall. The upper side should be more than six inches away from the ceiling. And the lower side should be more than 90 inches from the ground. Fix the mounting plate. Wall boards should be inclined appropriately according to the position of the drain pipe. Align screw hole corresponding to the mounting plate with a plotted position of screw and plotted position of several other screws. Fix and install the siding after the installation position is confirmed. If it's a cement wall, first insert the plastic sleeves and then fix the installation plates with tapping screws. Determine the wall hole position according to the exit pipe direction and the expected installation position of the outdoor unit. Avoid wires and other foreign materials. Make sure that the inside of the hole is about 0.5 inches higher than the outside. Put on the wall socket. Connection of connecting pipe. The input output pipe should be adjusted to appropriate position at a slow speed with even strength. Cut the insulating sleeve four to six inches to facilitate the connection with copper pipe and check for damage in the bend. Remove the nut cap of copper pipe. The cone should be vertical to the top pipe socket. When the nut is near the bottom of the bolt, tighten it with a wrench. Loosen it moderately after tightening for further tightening. First, connect the low pressure pipe. Then connect the high pressure pipe. Connection of drain pipe. This series of product is featured by two-way drainage function and the position of drain pipe interface can be selected according to installation position. Note that during the adjustment of drain pipe, unused interfaces should be sealed by a rubber plug. Seal drain pipe interface with adhesive to avoid loosening and leakage. Cooling is not allowed for a water pipe. Heat insulation material should be applied for wrapping the indoor side of drain pipe to avoid condensation and leakage. Connection of indoor power wire and signal wire. 
Open the indoor unit panel and loosen the screw used for fixing cover of the electric control box and remove the cover. Put the signal wire and the power wire through the wire outlet from the back. Connect the wires referring to wire diagram. Special attention should be paid if the live wire and the null wire are incorrectly connected. The air conditioners may not work regularly as a result of malfunction. Maintain appropriate curvature to avoid the loosening of wire terminal under stress. Compress the connecting wire with press wire card and get the press wire card fixed. Pull the wire back moderately to make sure the connection is secure. Mount the cover of the electric control box. Pipe laying and wrapping. Wrapping is conducted in order where power wire and signal wire are at upper side, connecting pipe is in the middle, and water pipe is at lower side. Reserve the copper screw position during wrapping for leak detection. Copper pipe should be sealed to prevent dust or foreign material from entering when going through the wall. Hang the indoor unit. Copper pipe and connecting wire after wrapping are threaded slowly through the wall hole to prevent from colliding with the wall or bending. Hang the indoor unit on the hook of the mounting plate. Insert the lower part of the indoor unit into the groove of the mounting plate. Installation of the outdoor unit. Space requirement for the installation of the outdoor unit. Make sure that it is no less than 12 inches for left space of the outdoor unit. No less than 24 inches for the right space. No less than 24 inches for upper space. No less than 12 inches for back space. No less than 78 inches for front space. When the outdoor unit is installed on the ground, Use tape line to measure the distance between footing of the outdoor unit. Select the installation position of the outdoor unit. Note that an L-shaped sink should be set in the drain hole of the outdoor unit for drainage. According to footing distance, drill into the expansion bolts. Locate the outdoor unit into the expansion bolts. Fit check washer and flat gasket. The outdoor unit is installed on the wall. Confirm the position of the bracket holes with the level. Note the bracket should be in a vertical plane. Fix mounting bracket of the outdoor unit. The bracket should be level and can withstand four times the weight of the outdoor unit. The outdoor unit should be placed level on the mounting bracket. Align elliptical hole of foundation bolt with fastener hole of bracket. The outdoor unit is fixed on the bracket by four bolts. The bolt is threaded from up to down and is tightened by adding a check washer. If allowed, rubber gaskets can be added to reduce the vibration of the outdoor unit during operation. Connection of outdoor drain pipe. Heat pump air conditioner is required to connect to drain pipe for outdoor unit. The gasket ring is sheathed on an adapter of water outlet and turned 90 degrees after being installed in chassis through the bottom of the outdoor unit. Drain pipe is sheathed and inserted into outdoor drain pipeline. Connection of outdoor connecting pipe. Open the cover of the water outlet. Unscrew the pipe cap. Align pipe socket of connecting pipe with the bell of globe valve pipe adapter. Screw pipe socket nut to the bottom of the globe valve bolt with hand. Then tighten it with wrench. Tighten back after tightening for further tightening. Bending requirement for connecting pipe. Bending radius of connecting pipe should be more than four inches, and connecting pipe should not be squashed during bending. When exit hole of connecting pipe is located lower than the indoor unit, a section of waterproof bend downwards is required for exit hole of connecting pipe to prevent rainwater from pouring into the interior. Connection of outdoor power wire and signal wire. Open the large handle of the outdoor unit. Connection is conducted corresponding to identifier with reference to wiring diagram. Attention should be paid that mode of connection should correspond with the indoor side. Incorrect wiring may result in damage to the electrical control board. Unscrew retaining screw of press wire card. 
remove the press wire card. While threading the wire, pay attention to maintain suitable curvature and the wire shall not be pulled too straight. Mount the press wire card and tighten screws. Pull the wire back moderately to make sure the connection is secure. Mount the large handle. Vacuum. Connection of vacuum pump. One end of the filler wire of pressure gauge should be connected to the vent of vacuum pump. The other end is connected to filler mouth of low pressure valve. Open low pressure valve of pressure gauge. Keep high pressure valve closed normally. 15 minutes later, when pressure gauge reading is negative 0.1 MPA, close the low pressure valve of pressure gauge fully. Turn off the vacuum pump. After five minutes, check the indicating of the pressure gauge. It should be, has no change. Unscrew valve cap of high pressure valve and low pressure valve and loosen valve core of high pressure valve through turning it 1 4 lap counterclockwise with hexagonal socket for 5 seconds. Generally, turn off valve core if pressure gauge reading is about 0.5 MPA. Wait one minute. Check the indicating of pressure gauge. There should be no change. Open fully valve cores of high pressure valve and low pressure valve. Tighten valve cap. Leak detection. Leak detection is conducted under standby mode condition in summer and under heating condition in winter. Leak detector detection. Probe moves around the weld junction at slow and uniform speed of one to two centimeters per second. And the probe is kept at the length of 0.1 to 0.2 inches away from the weld junction. It turns one lap around valve ports of high pressure valve and low pressure valve respectively. If leak alarm occurs, remove probe for retesting and confirmation. Soapy water detection. Apply soapy water. Washing powder is inapplicable. Of high concentration to all interfaces of nuts with brush. Then observe it for two to three minutes. Repeat this as needed. If bubbles emerge, leakage exists in the system. Nuts should be tightened further. Trial operation. Open the panel and remove the filter. Pour water slowly through the upper part of the evaporator to check whether the drainage is smooth. After it is ensured that water flows through the drain pipe smoothly, the drain pipe should be inserted into the outside drain pipeline. Current detection. Use clamp meter to clamp live wire to detect whether the running current of the air conditioner is within the normal range of current values. Voltage detection. Multimeter is adjusted to AC stop. With red pin connecting to L, black pin connecting to N, measure whether running voltage meets range of use with product when air conditioner operates. Use damping adhesive to seal the wall hole to prevent foreign materials from entering the interior. 